Okay, for today's assignment, we are going to be studying the work of Keith Haring and creating a painting with lots of movement lines and color. So we're going to start with our figures. And you can start with a stick figure. And have it doing some kind of movement, maybe dancing or something. Then we'll take a Sharpie and outline the stick figure. We're just gonna go around the lines that we made for the stick figure. So I'm just staying pretty far away from the line, the same distance the whole way. Now that I've got that done, go ahead and erase my pencil marks. Brush that dust, the eraser dust off. I'm ready to start painting. I already mixed my secondary colors, green, purple, and orange, with my primary colors, blue, yellow, and red. Now I'm just going to decide what colors I want to paint my figure. I think I'm going to go with yellow. I'm going to use my big brush to fill in these big parts. Be a little careful around the edge, but if I go out of the lines, it's okay. It's not that big of a deal. Alright. If I want to, I can grab a little more yellow on my thin or small brush, and then I can fill in those parts that I missed with my big brush. Then I want to put in a lot of movement lines, which would be really fun. So, I might start with some yellow. And just kind of add in lines around my figure. Where I think they might look neat. Some curved lines, kind of following the shape of his body. I might want to add different colors too. I will throw some purple down in there complementary color yellow I like how that looks I get I think orange will look nice on here so I can do some lines with orange I like painting these wavy lines so I'm going to put some of those around my picture I'm trying to space them out so my picture looks balanced. I don't want too many of them in one spot. Grab some red here. Do some smaller swirly lines. I'm gonna add some blue dots around. I like dabbing dots on my paintings. I could use my big brush too. Maybe I'll use my big brush for some green dots. See how that looks. Cleaning my brush off so I don't mix up my colors too much. Ooh, that is fun to do. So you can do one figure like I did here, or you could do more than one. Don't forget to sign your work. I'm going to put the year 2023. All right. 